Good morning everyone and welcome to this fantastic video here on my YouTube channel. This clock here that we're looking at, and I do apologise for the lighting conditions here, but this is a lovely example. Sadly this thing doesn't work at the moment, uh, but we can make it run. I'll show you what's wrong with it. I've wound up the chime, as you can see, that works fine. So does that. When we try to wind this one up, you'll see there's a major problem. Yeah. You can see it goes round and round and round and round and round. And you can hear it's really not happy like that. Yep, that spring is basically fricked. So enough of that, we'll not torture that anymore. But we can make it run enough that I can show you it running. First of all, we're going to demonstrate the hour strike. It's quarter to 12, I'm gonna turn it around. And I'll show you this thing in the most detail I can. It is actually now running. There it be. And do apologize for the quality of this damn video. For those who want to complain, please don't. Um, I am partially sighted, so making videos for me is very difficult anyway, but I still do them because I can. Here it does striking 12 o'clock position. So I did that wrong. As you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful clock movement. German hauler. I'm very jumpy with the zoom on my camera, I do apologize for that. Not the easiest thing to do. But as you can see, it has the potential to run, although the spring is dead, as I said before. Turn it round. We lock it up. And I'll show you its profile. And there's a side on profile, as you can see. It sort of sticks out a bit, it goes in, and then it's got square top and edges. The face, natural door look. Is exactly the same as the face element. Beautiful square glass door. Lovely example. Little tiny hands. This clock was damaged in the last repair that I had done to it. And I'm really annoyed about that. The clock itself still runs. Um, it's very old, as I say, 1930s style German hauler. We're gonna show you now 
the movement from the top so we can maybe zoom in a bit better I've got yes I know I tilted it that way um, but we're going to show you this from the top so you can see what we've got here that's a bit easier looking yeah I know that pendulum is resting right on the movement so we're going to be a bit kind to that and take it out there's the uh, the gorgeous movement that is a hauler see these cogs here drive the Westminster basically drives down to the smaller cog that then drives down to the little tiny cog at the bottom there which drives the hammers which are there hidden away in the bottom so that is one pretty sweet looking movement it's well oiled it has the potential to work again I am going to get this repaired As you can see at the top you got your fly fans all the cool bits that make it operate and because I want to be a bit kinder to this clock I've turned the chime off I'm going to flip this upside down I'm going to show you the damage that's been caused underneath due to lack of care while it's been repaired as you can see that hole is way too big and also this piece here has been cut on an angle to make that washer fit they've used the washer that's way too big they've had to cut the washer and they've basically just mangled the bottom of the clock this here is how it should look same as that block and that block and it's just that block if you got it on a desk you'd never see but I'm never going to sell this clock on in perfect condition if I ever sold this clock I'm actually detailing this because if I ever sold this clock whoever gets this needs to know that that's happened to it and that's why I'm detailing it now so there you go apart from that there's your front fascia you can see unusual characteristics for a clock square face chime silence at the number three position there three hole movement Westminster I know the light is catching on an odd angle and making that look really strange it's actually in perfect shape that might need a bit of a clean but until I get this repaired I don't really want to and there you go the German hauler. Uh, the pendulum for this thing is rather unique. I'm going to put it on my hand so you can see. And um, just shake it around a bit. Actually, let's just put it on the floor and you will be able to see the uniqueness that is. I'll zoom into that. Actually, use the top of the clock as a base because I think that might work better it's clicking because there's no pendulum in it very unique pattern there very unique pattern on that pendulum 
I really like that. It's so unusual. You can see the grain of the wood there on the clock as we zoom out. But anyway, guys, that is a quick look at the German hauler. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, stay subscribed. There's plenty more where this came from.